I got a quick puzzle for you today. Let f of x be the function that is the sum of the squares of the digits of x, and we'll let f sub 0 be f of x, and fn be f composed with f n minus 1. Our goal for today is to find the 100,000th, so f sub 100,000 of 2. Okay, and of course we could brute force this and just compose it 100,000 times, but I'm going to talk, talk to you about how to do this a little bit um, in an easier way. So pause the video, try it on your own, and then you can come back and just watch me solve it. Okay, so f sub 0 is 2. Okay, I'm going to draw kind of a map of what happens. So we start with 2. f of 2, well what's f? the sum of the squares of the digits. So 2 squared, there's only one digit, uh, is 4. Again, the sum of the squares of the digits, so 4 squared is, is 16. Okay, now it's the first in interesting case. This is going to be mapped to 1 squared plus 16 squared. So you see this is how the function works. You square the digits and add them together, so we get 37. Okay, and if we go along, this is 3 squared, which is 9, plus 7 squared, which is 49, so we get 58. Twenty five plus sixty four is eighty nine. And now you might be wondering why am I drawing it like this? Well, it'll be clear. Sixty four plus eighty one is one forty five. Okay, we sum all of the digits, the squares of all the digits. So one plus sixteen plus twenty five, that's forty two. 16 plus 4 is 20, and then 2 squared is 4 plus 0 is 4. Okay, so we loop right back around. And so we could, we're going to use this to answer the question. We want to find the 100,000th term in this sequence. So this first term here, I guess I'll write it in a different color so it's not confusing. This is the 0th term. This is the first term, second term, uh, third term, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Okay, this would be the ninth term in our sequence. This is the tenth, and so forth. So notice they match if they're the same number mod eight, right? Why is it eight? Our loop has eight numbers in it. Let's count that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the question really could be restated as what is 100,000 mod eight? And then what's that term? Okay, and it's not easy to, I mean, it's not hard to check that 100,000 um, is equal to zero mod eight. Okay, so you might be thinking, it's the same as the zeroth term. But our zeroth ter term is outside of our loop. So it's actually going to be the same as our eighth term. So to answer the question, this is equal to 20. Not too bad. OK, so my question for you is, are there any cycles? So maybe you might need to do this with a computer to, if you want to play around. Are there any cycles that are bigger than 8? Is there an upper bound for how big a cycle could be? Are there any infinite cycles? So something that uh, never loops back. I don't know. I, think about it and let me know in the comments if you, uh, if you can answer any of those questions. All right. See you later.